Good morning. So last time I tried to change my CR123 batteries to 16340 batteries. And although the flashlight was still working, the light was dim. So I suspect what happened is that something in the LED driver got burnt. And that's because um, CR123 batteries, when they're full, are 3.2 volts. And since there are two cells, um, that's a total of 6.4 volts. 16340 batteries, on the other hand, um, when they're full, they're 4.2 volts. So since there are two cells, the total is 8.4 volts. And the LED driver wasn't rated for that voltage. So let's take a look at what I'm talking about. Okay, so this is the LED drop-in module. And it's actually composed of several parts. So first, you have the reflector. And then you have the brass spill here. And it holds the LED emitter and the LED driver. So I suspect that the problem is somewhere in this LED driver. So what I need is a replacement for it. So it has to be um, a match with the LED emitter. And it also has to be able to handle the voltage that we need. So in this case, we want to be able to handle maybe three to nine volts. So that's what we need. So first we'll take a look at the LED emitter and, and we find out that this is a Cree XML LED. So the, so the other thing we need to find out is the size of the LED driver so that it fits in the pill. And this one is about 16, maybe 17 millimeters. So while I was searching for LED drivers online, I found out that it's not much different in terms of price from a full drop-in module. So I decided to instead get a full drop-in module. And here it is. So there are two things that are different here. So instead of a smooth reflector, I got an orange peel reflector, which is similar to the original module that I have, this one. And the other thing is that it's got only one mode, which um, gives you full power with a press of a button. So let's install this. We'll remove the spring. So I have CR123 batteries here right now. And we'll just try it out with these first. Okay, so we have a bright beam. So that looks good. Um, we'll try the 16340s now. So here goes nothing. Okay, that's a good beam. Another good beam. And another good beam. So I think we're good. So I guess that's a successful upgrade. Although it took not just a simple battery replacement, but also an LED drop-in module replacement. But the way I see it, this setup has a distinct advantage in emergency use situations where you just grab any battery that you find lying around and not worry about burning something out. If it fits, it should work. So they should be able to handle both CR123 batteries as well as 16340 batteries. And of course, 16340 batteries have the advantage of being rechargeable. That should save a lot of money in the long run, and that's always good. Thank you for watching.